What's in the closet of this hotel? Posted by Horror Talk, this TikToker appears to be filming your standard hotel lockbox on a top shelf of the closet. Only this one's not so standard. The lockbox keeps beeping and flashing sixes, the sign of the devil, after which it repeatedly shows an error. The girl is far away from the lockbox, and no one else is in the room. She says she just got back from the hotel bar and was reading a scary book when this started happening. Some think the six key was just pressed too many times and is malfunctioning. Others think the ghost is just trying to get his valuables. But what I'm wondering is what's in the box? What if you were trailing an ambulance and you saw this in the rear window? This terrifying ghoul was caught on camera by a vehicle following the ambulance. Apart from the spirit, there appears to be two human passengers in the back of the ambulance, likely EMTs. As the camera focuses in, the spirit's ghastly facial features appear for a moment before whoever's filming loses control of the camera, likely terrified about what they've just seen. What would you do if you saw this in the back of an ambulance? It's probably safest to back off. 9 out of 10 people do not immediately notice what's wrong with this handshake, so allow me to show you where to look. Trust me, you'll be sorry that I did. Give me your hand. I like cake. I just don't like the ice. This is someone's right hand and yet they're on the left side. Also look at their fingernails. They're facing the wrong way. How can this be? The answer isn't pretty. The condition is called hypermobility. Though the phrase double jointed is commonly used, it's mostly genetic, meaning you are either born with this unusually large range of movement or not. Only 20% of people have it, though typically not to this degree, and there's no way for the rest of us to gain this talent, if you want to call it that, so don't even try to practice. Like most people, watching this video makes me feel like my fingers are going to fall off. Tell me if you would be able to shake the hand of someone with hypermobility while they were doing this. I mean, it's creepy, but also kind of cool. What is it about seeing a ghost where you least expect it that sends the most unnerving chills down your spine? Posted by Leo Alcala213 to the Chills Narrator subreddit, a group of boys are outside at night when they spot this small figure far away cast in shadows. At first, they see him standing in front of a lit building. Later, the figure is captured in front of another building. From afar, the shadow looks like a youth standing still. The cameraman says it looks like a figurine, although it doesn't appear to be moving. In a later clip, the figure is gone. Although some in the comments say the whole thing looks staged, Redditor Gemincini writes, Staged or not, it's creepy AF. Extra Serenity adds, you should go back and see if it's still there. Don't think I would heed this advice. An outdoor restaurant is about to be creepy, and it's all caught on CCTV tape. This top right couple seems to be having an intense conversation. At 10 seconds, there is some chest pounding on both sides. It looks like a bad breakup or something until 25 seconds when he stands up and is ready to storm out but then points at the food lodged in his throat. They weren't having an argument at all. He was slowly becoming more and more unable to breathe. She starts patting him on the back but apparently this is a big mistake. I am not giving any medical advice but the Mayo Clinic says not to do this unless you're trying trained to deliver a special back blow between the shoulder blades. From what I've read, patting someone on the back can sometimes make the food move further down the windpipe and get even more stuck. A brave restaurant worker gets behind him, makes a fist with one hand slightly above the belly button, grabs his fist and gives a quick upward thrust as if picking him off the ground for a moment. This is called the Heimlich Maneuver, and it's a good thing somebody in the restaurant knew it. Most states have laws in place for restaurant staff to have this kind of training, and this scary scenario caught on tape is exactly why. I encourage everyone to get the proper training because you never know when this could happen to someone nearby, maybe even you. There must be no scarier feeling than having an entire crowd watch you helplessly while you can't breathe. 
This man who helped him is truly a hero. A YouTuber named Herb Doggy is diving underwater when he sees a small cave that looks interesting. In less than a minute, he is being chased out by something that's not even human. A giant moray eel slithers out of its hiding hole and appears to chase Herb Doggy away, though I'm not entirely sure. I would like to know how territorial these creatures are and if they really would chase someone away. I'd also really like to know if this was an electric eel or not, in which case I totally understand why Herb Doggy was in so much of a hurry to get out of there. Todd T captures a large humanoid looking figure going down his neighbor's chimney. He's too far away to pick up any discernible details, but the creature looks to be far too large to be a bird or pretty much any other animal. Whatever this is, it looks to be the size of a human. The mysterious creature stuffs itself down the chimney in less than a minute, at which point I'm guessing it roams around the interior of the home for whatever it can find. What happened to Todd's neighbor is anyone's guess. What is it like to have a bad encounter with a demon? You're about to find out. Published by Dark Life in December of 2021, this ghost hunter is thrown from above and not so politely asks why he came. When he asks who she is, she responds, and when he later asks that she state her name, her real voice comes out. Later, when no one is answering him, he hears a noise coming from the next room, and that something appears to get aggressive with him, pulling him to the ground. That's when his battery runs out. Did he make it out alive? Well, this video did make its way online, but let's say only the demon knows for sure. Uday Hindi is exploring an old building when he comes across a little girl staring at him from the corner of the room. <laughs> The door furthest away from both of them shuts all by itself before he gets a chance to investigate. Despite this, Uday Hindi bravely pushes into the next room and discovers she is not a girl, but rather a creepy life-size doll. He roughly handles the doll from room to room and throws it on the floor, and that's when the doll decides it's had enough. <laughs> I saw no strings when the doll moved, did you? Anyway, he is busy analyzing some strange and possibly demonic markings on the doll when suddenly this happens. Watch and try and translate what he says shortly before it goes all wrong. <laughs> This part I feel like could have been from the way the doll was leaning on the wall before it fell, but the incident before that I feel could be quite real. A beautiful home built in 1934 turned ugly when in 2009, the real estate mogul who bought the home took his wife's life. Claiming the woman went missing on a hike, a search began for his wife but turned up nothing. A year later, the man put a new addition on his home that raised enough suspicion for police to request a search warrant. They found the wife buried beneath the home. The man was given more than 20 years behind bars, and the house remains abandoned. Published by Dark Exploration Films, this walkthrough of the home is incredibly disturbing. Taking viewers through the grounds and inside the home, the explorer comes upon the hole in which the woman was buried. Let's go into the room that everybody wants to see. So this room was added in 2009. And once the police found out about this construction, they were a little skeptical. Many in the comments are bewildered that anyone could live in the home they buried their wife in without getting telltale hearted to the point of insanity. 
Others feel a sense of darkness and foreboding and even a feeling of sadness there. Surely the woman's spirit remains. A YouTuber named Sand General captures the moving shadow of a mysterious creature on tape in the Phoenix Desert late at night. He and his friend are cautiously driving down a dark and spooky country road when their dog starts making low whining noises that they've never heard before. Sand General stops the car and aims his phone camera. This bizarre encounter with an unknown creature is what he catches on video. A roaming shadow that stands out from the scenery is caught mysteriously moving from left to right. It looks like the rather large outline of some kind of desert monster waiting to ambush them. And so they turn around and get out of there fast, which is the right plan in my opinion. I would suggest that this large shadow figure is video editing, except listen to the dog. It's genuinely terrified and trying to tell them that they should be scared too. This video was recorded in Portugal sometime in 2001. It starts out with a group of friends just playing around with a home camera, which was pretty much considered a novelty back then. They are filming everything in the house for no reason at all for a long time until they get bored and decide to try and contact some spirits. To do this, they make one of their friends named Nelson stand in a circle and concentrate in silence. Maybe it's just the power of suggestion, but Nelson sways for a bit and then tumbles to the ground. They aren't sure what to make of this. At this point, neither am I. So they make Nelson do it again, as they are trying to summon a spirit through Nelson for a second time. Something unexpected happens. <laughs> This time, another friend, Celestino, falls to the ground and begins convulsing. When he gets up, he is no longer the same person. If Celestino is acting here, he's doing an excellent job. Look at how his shoulder blades come jutting out of his back as he stands up aggressively. That definitely does not look normal. The rest of the video is them tracking Celestino as he behaves strangely outside. They don't know what to do, but at the same time, they don't want to lose sight of him. Eventually, they get split up, and when the one with the camera finds his friends again, none of them are in good shape. I really hope that this was just a fake video. It does almost seem like the Blair Witch Project at times, which was very popular in 2001. Then again, I wouldn't underestimate the power behind conjuring spirits. So I'll leave it up to you to decide. A YouTube channel called Kiwi in Japan has the creepy encounter of a lifetime that leaves everyone screaming with fear and excitement in the kitchen. Oh, that is freaky. That is so scary. <gasps> Oh, yuck. With a bowl in one hand and a piece of paper in the other, he hatches a plan to cover the spider and slip the paper underneath to contain it. It doesn't end well. You ready? Ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah! <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What is it? At 1 minute and 14 seconds, the spider literally jumps out of the way and almost lands on his arm. He's wearing no gloves and a short sleeve shirt when it happens, meaning he's completely vulnerable. Fortunately, it's more interested in finding shelter than battling back. It's fast enough to evade him three more times, but with legs that long, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After a final showdown in the closet, he apprehends the arachnid and sends it back on its way to nature with a final toss. 
I bet they're really glad to have gotten rid of it. I don't think I could still live someplace where I saw a spider take up a whole entire room of a corner before. At least not until it was taken out of the house. And I'm definitely not sure if I would have been brave enough to try and capture it. Talk about scary stuff. What are you afraid of? What can really make you scream? This entry was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The user explains that the clip was found on TikTok. Footage shows a guy sleeping at 1.16 in the morning with the text. He snores so loud. According to the video, the next night is shown subsequently. This time, the man is sleeping in a very awkward position, with his arms up in the air. Even stranger, the drawer from the bedside table appears to open of its own accord. A short time later, the man is in a new position, and as he turns over, if you focus on the nightstand, a bottle slides strangely sideways, falling on the floor. The man appears to be suffering from some evil spirit being exercised, as his body contorts aggressively on the bed. I don't know if this guy's just being a hole. He wants to shut the Stop. Hey, what the f Whoever is taking the video leaves the room, and when he returns, the sleeping man is kneeling in the corner. What's going on here? It is suggested could just be night terrors. Others lean more towards the paranormal, however. They suggest the man is possessed. What do you think? Paranormal activity? Possession? It is certainly baffling, and I think we need more footage to fully solve this mystery. A family is being frightened by a ghostly apparition somewhere in Mexico, and this is the moment they finally see it. So, ¿Qué es se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? The side of someone's face peers out from within the closet, but when they go to check where it just was, it's gone. There definitely was something in there, because you can see its face push up against a shirt. However, at 36 seconds, there may be an editing cut when the camera is covered. This could be where they stop recording, let him out the closet, and start recording again. Residents in Tallahassee, Florida, feared for their lives when this strange and haunting sound echoed throughout their area for over 20 minutes. It's not back that way, it's up in this corner. Don't go out there. There's little doubt that this video is real, as you can hear the fear in the family's voices. I get the kids in the bathroom. I hear the wind. Get the kids in the bathroom. Get in the bathroom. Get. I thought it was a tornado. But the person in the video doesn't. They called 911 and learned that police were apparently flooded with concerned complaints about the noise. The person who recorded this footage says that the local news was told to report this as an airplane. This doesn't really sound like an airplane to me. There's one other strange occurrence. A sudden flash of lightning that instantly makes the noise disappear. I've never been in a tornado before, so I can't say if this video looks normal or not. I'm especially looking for opinions from people who have been in one. Do you agree with the uploader that this could have been something more than a tornado? Like a government weather experiment. An invisible force has taken this man by the scruff of his neck, published in December of 2019. At the beginning of the video, the cameraman and another man off screen are yelling at each other. What? 
At a distance, a short figure in white appears to be standing in a dark doorway. Its features are indistinguishable. The two continue yelling at each other until the cameraman turns around and starts running away from the figure in the doorway. As he does, the friend who was yelling is captured on camera, holding a flashlight. But suddenly, he is thrown to the ground, and as if a mysterious invisible force is acting upon him, the man is dragged away. The cameraman runs toward him to help, and it appears as if he is thrown to the ground too. Mayhem ensues as they both try to fight it off. They finally manage to break away, and they start hurrying off, but the cameraman doesn't get far. He is thrown to the ground and dragged again through the ice and snow. He struggles with the force before being pulled, this time into a room. He manages to escape and run away, and when he turns to look back, there's a small figure in the doorway again. What is this force? Where was it taking him? He'd better leave now, or it might just get him this time. A while back, I analyzed a video of a weird spider with a strange growth under its abdomen. Well, I did some more research and found this video, which finally explains what it was. An egg sack. First, they come out one by one, and within less than two minutes, hundreds have burst out. Their mother patiently stands guard until they are all free and then leaps away, leaving behind her brood in the hopes that they will scatter to every room in the household and successfully grow to full size. Abnormal Alabama is all about discussing the weirdest and scariest things imaginable, and this is probably one of their most frightening videos. These creepy dolls are said to be possessed by something paranormal according to their owner, Kevin Kane, the man in the white shirt, and they aren't afraid to show it. When the host is busy talking about his own bizarre experiences with the haunted dolls, the creepy dolls provide the best paranormal evidence right in front of the camera. They had all kinds of dolls that were haunted, were supposedly haunted. Um, they had um, death masks. They actually had a um, the cap they would put. Not only are the creepy dolls caught on tape moving, which is scary enough, but if you look closely, you'll see one doll moves its eyes first. Its eyelids briefly twitch before the doll moves by itself. I also wanted to point out as a counterpoint that the dolls could be falling over because of how they were positioned. At 20 seconds, Kevin leans back and the other guest moves his laptop. So maybe they bumped the table and accidentally made it look like the dolls were haunted and moving on their own. Or maybe not. This creepy footage shot in Portugal of a strange beast that has some wondering if the chupacabra is actually real and if this footage is finally proof of its existence. What's the chupacabra? According to Wikipedia, the chupacabra is a legendary creature in the folklore of parts of the Americas with its first purported sighting reported in Puerto Rico. Chupacabra literally translates to goat sucker in Spanish, so when this creature was caught hunkering through the desert, it certainly turned some heads. The clip only lasts a few seconds before the odd, mannish creature disappears behind a bush. Some see the video as definitive proof that the chupacabra is real, while others question the video's authenticity. Still others believe it's not the chupacabra. It's just your average, everyday CGI. Whatever the case, it has been viewed thousands of times, so it certainly struck up interest. This image will soon be a permanent fixture in your brain. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scared Shirtless underscore 420 is wondering, what is this? The image shows a large and intimidating figure ready to spring down the hallway at us. A woman whose face is censored is sitting against the wall on the floor. She appears unconscious or indisposed. The 
photo, whose origins are a mystery, is taken in a dilapidated hallway, likely in an abandoned building, but the scene's context leaves a lot to the imagination. What is this place? Who are these people? Did this mysterious beast attempt to take the life of this woman? And is it coming for you next? What's your theory? It's late at night when a YouTuber named Single Athel hears something just outside of his home. His curiosity outweighs his fear, and so he takes a camera outside with him to try and find the source. At least one person is sure this is a demon, but a lot of people are saying it's just a fox. Let me know what you hear. This video was taken in December, which does fall in line with the fox mating season. Still, it's kind of strange that the person living here claims to have never heard this before and doesn't know what it is. Here's another clip to help you analyze the source with me. What is that noise? Was this a fox or something much worse? Like the rake. In 2014, Paranormal Lana created her channel, and it soon became one of the fastest growing channels in the scary community. Her channel had reached over 50,000 subscribers, until on a September day in 2015, her channel vanished without a trace or reason. Since then, theories have abounded online about what caused her disappearance. Though some think she just became bored with the platform, a more disturbing theory has picked up interest. Shortly before her disappearance, she posted the following on social media. Had a pretty scary stalking incident, so unfortunately I'm having to change the way I run my social media. No more Facebook. Since then, many have wondered if this stalker had a part in her disappearance. It's certainly plausible, but since there has been no update since 2015, we will never know for sure. Miss ROCIO4441 published this haunting video in June of 2011, alleging a ghost at the local McDonald's who appeared there at night between 2.30 and 2.50 a.m. In the video, you can certainly see what appears to be a shadow floating around the restaurant. According to the YouTuber, the security camera only turns on when it captures movement. One person in the comments claims to work at this very McDonald's. Ya boy dad 916 said, I work night shifts in this store and I get the creeps all the time. Viewers disputed this video as well though, while some saying it could be a bug on the lens. I don't know though, but watching the shadow move around this footage certainly gives me the creeps. Could it be a past customer or McDonald's employee who passed away at this restaurant? I guess we'll never know. Have you ever owned a doll that just isn't right? One that you spot on your desk in the darkness of night, staring at you? Published in May of 2015, this footage of a haunted doll will make your toes curl. The doll in question, which looks creepy in its wide-eyed stare already, suddenly does something you least expect. It blinks. The person taking the video hurries off, likely not wanting to see what the doll will do next. One of the freakiest things about this footage is that the doll doesn't look like a little girl's toy. It's a full-grown woman doll, makeup and all. You don't expect an inanimate doll to suddenly blink at you in the darkness. When it does, that image stays with you. It haunts you. There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9pm, the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f It doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. A YouTuber named Jude the Cool Dude is making a video tour of his house when he discovers something new on the third floor. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, is that a door? Concealed behind a hidden wall panel is a cramped room with extremely small furniture, including a tiny table with a single candle for light. Terror spreads across Jude as it dawns upon him that he could very well be standing in the hiding spot of an intruder who has been living here for some time. It even looks like whoever inhabited this place may have rerouted the wiring to divert power to this part of the house. It's almost impossible to tell if this video was staged or legitimate, but with all of the stories I've read about people living in houses for years without being discovered, I really wouldn't be surprised if this was real. Either way, Jude decides to quietly close the trap door and never mention this find again. YouTuber Exploring with Josh explores the Screaming Witch's Forest on Pendle Hill, and they aren't disappointed. Their first sign is when the REM pod goes off. Dude. It, it like it was like it even was poking the thing. Now I'm getting freaked out. When two go off at once, it's obvious they are in a powerful presence. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! They're both they're both going off oh at the same God. time! Yo! Holy <laughs> dude. I gotta get off this rock before I bust. Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How, how many times do you ever see a rem- The spirit then starts to curse at them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That just lit up every single light! Another kind of ghost. F*** you! Holy sh**! It just said f*** you! Tell me not! Oh my god, it definitely did. Hey! It hey! It is evil, hey! And then they become more aggressive. Oh no! Bro, Hang on, bro. What the f*** what that? did you do then? I didn't do anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, mean? Like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe you. Their devices go berserk, and when Josh lifts his shirt, he reveals that he definitely was scratched by a spirit. Like for, you're not, no, 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 dude, Josh, no, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You've got to be kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. Like, I, you guys see me this whole time. I've been recording this whole time. Josh, um. I feel there is definitely some residual witchcraft on Pendle Hill, and to me, it's clear that it will take no prisoners. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has seen a lot in his line of work, but he calls this the worst night he's ever had in a haunted house. Let's see why. First, something appears on his monitor. A little later, the lights go out. Then something lets itself in. Tim checks it out. When he doesn't find anything, he decides to sleep, but he really shouldn't. The demon seems to have choked him. And that's not the end of it. He says the inscription was written as if from inside the mirror. Later, the demon is again captured, creeping on the monitor. As Tim looks for him, he's found hiding.
and the game continues. until the demon makes its move. I don't think I've seen a demon appear on camera like that before. And then for it to get so aggressive, Tim is lucky to have made it out alive. Caitlin Raquel is alone in her room. When this shadow passes through her room without passing over her, her hands are not covered by the shadow, even though it walks directly in front of her. Do you feel like someone's pursuing you? Then you should probably trust your gut. Published YouTube by Upbeat Yamaha in February of 2019. This video follows a motorcyclist minding his own business on the open road. Wearing a GoPro, he manages to capture a white truck in front of him. Nothing out of the ordinary. Ahead, the truck pulls over to the side of the road. This too appears innocent enough, but after passing the white truck and later taking a turn onto a side street, seeing the truck continue along, you probably wouldn't expect what comes next. The biker returns to the main road, and the same white truck now a ways ahead pulls over again, letting him pass a second time. The biker starts to wonder what's going on. Even more worrisome, he thinks the truck is following him. He suspects the driver might be trying to record his license plate to report him for something. Although he says he hasn't done anything to report, he again pulls over at an intersection and attempts to wait out the suspect who has stopped as well. The biker says the man in the truck is attempting to wave him on. After a brief face off, the biker turns to the left, noting the guy's plate number and saying he was taking pictures of him. While the video doesn't come to any concrete conclusion about what the white truck wanted, the biker suspects that he's dealt with the same man before. Some in the comments think it's probably just some angry boomer who's mad about how loud the bike is. Others advise that if this happens again, to pull into a fire station as they most certainly will help someone being followed. A cautionary tale if there ever was one. For all we know, this lurker could have had even more sinister motives. A gigantic streak of lightning in Paducah, Kentucky was so large that it was caught by two different police dash cams. The first police car was far away and its dash cam footage shows just how long this massive lightning bolt was. And the second police car was much, much closer. The lightning bolt directly hit a nearby residence. Fortunately, everyone inside was alright, but this particular officer will never forget how close he came to being charred alive. A YouTube channel called Mysterious Oklahoma received this video from a subscriber who claims to have kept seeing something out of the corner of their eye in one spot of their house, so they set up a camera to record. What they capture is a fast-moving creature they refer to only as the Thing, which apparently moves so fast the camera has trouble keeping up. When you pause on it, you can see a very small figure that looks to be slightly lower resolution than the rest of the video, so it might not be real. Have you heard of the Fresno Nightcrawler? The cryptoid in question was first caught on video surveillance in Fresno, California. It appears extraterrestrial, looking akin to a long pair of white pants with a tiny head. The figure in this video, published in April of 2020, certainly fits that description. The home surveillance footage from Billings, Montana purportedly captures this bizarre creature. Claudia writes, The figure appears in the top right corner at the 22nd mark along with sounds that seem to match a pig or some kind of mammal. Right before the timestamp in question, a car appears to drive near the property off camera, casting light into the yard. That's when you see the figure at the top right corner, which looks like it has two legs. Seeming to be scared into stillness, it soon scurries out of sight. If not the Fresno Nightcrawler, what do you think this is? It looks like no mountain lion I've ever seen. 
If you're going caving, do it at the right time of day. Posted to TikTok by Andrew Smith, this caver found out the hard way that underwater caves have a high tide. As the cave fills with water around him, he has nowhere to go. The water comes rushing at the staircase as the cave continues to fill dramatically. We can assume these cavers made it out alive enough to post this video, but most in the comments say they're goners just watching this. I seriously hope everyone was alright. YouTuber Ali H lives in a haunted house. After his dogs woke him in the middle of the night, he was confronted, but not by his dogs, by the demon itself. Watch the security camera footage here. Ali says there was a knocking noise which disturbed his dogs. That's why they woke him up for comfort. He got up to check things out, and when he did, something sinister happened. After having his neck squeezed and then thrown to the floor, Ali somehow went back to bed. Although this would definitely not be my reaction to being choked by an unseen force, I do believe Ali's story. Watch again at how he was lifted off the floor by the demon. Maybe Ali is just so used to dealing with the haunted happenings in his home, he's become indifferent to them. I think this is getting dangerous for him though. He should take everyone's advice in the comments and move from this haunted place before it's too late. There's nothing more haunted than something that moves of its own accord, except maybe when it jolts aggressively of its own accord. Submitted to Reddit by Nick4566. This swing in India is not child's play. Nick writes, This was seen in a well-known city of India. The park is closed since a year as a lady took her own life here long back, and the park is not used by children. Watch the swing at the beginning of the clip flinging back and forth on its own. It's a bit unnerving already, but as some in the comments point out, someone might have pushed it before the person began filming. You probably thought that yourself, but watch further. The swing slows halfway through the video only to suddenly jolt back to life. <laughs> Flinging aggressively back and forth, the leaves in the surrounding trees are barely fluttering, so none of this could be due to wind or nature. It's completely supernatural. Could the spirit of the woman who took her life still be here? And why is she swinging? We may never know. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney Graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall, but they light up the entire area and there is no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. Smoke wafted through the yellow line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again. But it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside. 
and firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about seven minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon and you can hear people cough while well, most lie or squat on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated, 9 were treated outside the station, and 1 passed away. YouTuber Gregor Wilk braves one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin in this spooky video. One of the most interesting finds he has there is this strange orb flickering in the darkness. Watch closely. In another shot, he captures a ghostly apparition. Watch to the left amongst the trees. Here's a closer look. Some in the comments say they've had a similar experience at Sanitarium Hill. Well, from this distance, I'd say you can't really tell if this is a ghost or not. This was filmed at around 2 a.m., so the idea that someone was out walking in the darkness of night is pretty creepy in and of itself. A YouTuber named Guarov Zone is examining a notoriously haunted road in New Delhi, India. They idle their car and wait in darkness for a while to see what happens next. I was starting to think the video could be fake until I noticed one part in particular. What appears to be two yellowish eyes briefly stare at them before disappearing. I was thinking that this could just be a reflection of the car's brake lights. But if that was the case, then the light should be red, not yellow. I also don't know what would catch the light's reflection since they are on a desolate road in the middle of nowhere. The strange eyes, if that's what they were, disappear and never return. Not even when the cameraman zooms in for a closer look. YouTuber Lloyd's House of Horrors believes his son and daughter have seen a ghost. Hello guys, um, I'm here with my, my kids and I'm in the room and they called me and told me that they seen something. Where did you see it, Nia? Where in the washroom? Could you guys show me? Yeah. Okay, come show me this here. One of his kids leads him to the washroom, and when he does, this happens. And here. Okay, show me. Oh my goodness. Whoa, Lee! Nazir! Nazir! Did the ghost just imprison Lloyd's son? While watching this clip over again, I noticed there seems to be something behind the door at this point. The door appears to rebound a bit when the boy opens it wider. Whether what's behind it is a ghost or a person is anyone's guess, though. Junior Tour 1 helps his father move a table, and only when they put it down does he notice something he wishes he never caught on camera. And uh, we picked it up under here, and uh, we carried it out. And uh, when I uh, flipped it over, guess what I discovered? And I stuck my hands under there. 
From the view at 36 seconds, it's easy to see how the spider stayed hidden from view. The circled area is where the spider is, and also exactly where he grabbed the table to lift it. For better context, this is where his fingers were, and of course you already know where the spider is. He thinks this is a wolf spider, but someone else claims this to be a dark fishing spider. This is a fierce debate in the comments section of the video, so let's see if we can settle the issue here. Don't Pet a Sleeping Seal Published by New Generation and originally posted on TikTok by couple of blokes, these Aussies found a leopard seal from Antarctica washed up on a beach in South Australia. Of course, they presumed the seal had passed away. After all, it was lying very still in the sand, undisturbed by their approach. But as the man heads over to pet its back, the seal pops up ready to battle. Who knew a seal could look so much like a T-Rex? Well, I have officially... Bearing all of its teeth at the man, the seal hops forward a bit but then rests back in the dirt again. The man, on the other hand, jumps a mile. As many in the comments point out, this is the most Australian video ever. YouTuber Jedward Scissorbangs writes, Australia, touch dangerous animal first, ask questions later. Miss me with that. I think I'm just gonna stay indoors. An office worker is sitting quietly at her desk when she throws down her phone at 1 minute and 18 seconds, which begins to flare up and sizzle. She leans over the device to clear her desk at 1 minute and 25 seconds, which I don't think was the right decision. If the battery pops here, her face is in direct range. They all gather around the broken phone and record it in case something else happens. It continues to sizzle from the middle of the screen, but other than that, it looks strangely fine. Try and translate what they are saying here if possible. <laughs> Let There Be Light, posted to the ghost video subreddit by Zombie Foxes, the Redditor explains, The security guard quit after seeing the CCTV of an orb walking through a car park and turning on lights in the storage room. The lights can only be turned on with a sensor when you walk four to five steps in the bike store, which also requires a fob to access it. The video shows the car park in question. For a while, there's nothing to see here, but then the tiny white speck or orb floats slowly across the scene from the bottom right of the screen to the door. Just as it arrives there, the light beyond flicks on. Coincidence? Or is there just something here that we cannot see? If it's true that the lights are only triggered when a person enters, then who or what's inside? No wonder the security guard didn't want to stick around. What looks to be an oversized bird slowly turns to reveal a human-shaped head. Listen and try to translate if you can. At approximately 12 seconds into the video, the legs and abdomen appear to be of an insect. At 13 seconds, the fully outstretched wings have a ridged webbing that closely resembles a bat. Any guesses as to what this is? Abnormal Alabama is all about discussing the weirdest and scariest things imaginable, and this is probably one of their most frightening videos. These creepy dolls are said to be possessed by something paranormal according to their owner, Kevin Kane, the man in the white shirt, and they aren't afraid to show it. When the host is busy talking about his own bizarre experiences with the haunted dolls, the creepy dolls provide the best paranormal evidence right in front of the camera. They had all kinds of dolls that were haunted, that were supposedly haunted. Um, they had um, death masks. They actually had a um, the cap they would put. Not only are the creepy dolls caught on tape moving, which is scary enough, but if you look closely, you'll see one doll moves its eyes first. Its eyelids briefly twitch before the doll moves by itself. I also wanted to point out as a counterpoint that the dolls could be falling over because of how they were positioned. At 20 seconds, Kevin leans back and the other guest moves his laptop, so maybe they bumped the table and accidentally made it look like the dolls were haunted and moving on their own. Or maybe not. 
A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually what? was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Oh, Wait. Shh. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. You see this key? This key is gonna save my life. A YouTube channel called Snake Hunters TV takes a risky challenge by locking himself in with a Burmese python and hides the key. He hides the key and shuts the locked tank door behind himself. Now it's up to his daughter Carista to save his life. The snake senses a new object is near and starts flicking its tongue, trying to sense if it's food. Lock me in. <laughs> Lock me in. Am I locked in? Yep. I can't get out. He knows not to make any sudden movements or else the snake will react. He has to stay calm. When the snake gets in his lap, he knows he's in trouble and has to slowly stretch his legs out without panicking. By the end of the challenge, he's huddled in the corner with the snake pushed as far away as the claustrophobic tank allows. I'm thinking they fed the snake before making the video to make it less likely to be hostile because it hardly seems interested in him by the time he leaves. But hungry or not, crawling into the den of a 12-foot python is one challenge I could never take. A YouTuber wants to go exploring at an old abandoned school on the edge of the town in Searsboro, Iowa, a place rumored to be haunted and made even scarier by some nearby creepy woods. The school was shut down two times and nobody really knows why, or at least the local townsfolk don't want to say. The inside is trashed and has no power, and yet their equipment makes a low rumble from an electronic disturbance coming from this stairway. Notice how the sound goes goes away as soon as they turn away from the steps. Do we even want to try and go like that? I mean, yeah, I should do it. Or should we go this way? Should we go across the catwalk yeah, or this way? Here. Something paranormal is definitely up there. A strange feeling keeps them all away. In the next room, this rope moves by itself and then a bucket quickly follows. A second rope gets pulled and it's hard to say if all of this is a ghost or one of them off camera. On their way out of the abandoned property, they find this creepy secret room. Why a school would have a hidden room is beyond me and also beyond creepy. Keeping a student down there would definitely get your school shut down. They find another small room hidden away and decide to go in. Inside is a message that says something bad happened in this secret room. It's an old worn message written long ago. Not by them, but perhaps a former student. A creepy noise ends the exploration as fast as it began, and when they look back at the abandoned building, they see what could be a pale ghost in the window. Have you checked your home security cameras? You'll want to after seeing this video. Published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SirPenguin09, the Redditor explains that everyone was at the hospital visiting his cousin on June 22nd. No one was home, but when they checked their security footage, this is what they found. 
The clip shows a blur of something walking past. While the visual isn't clear, it's definitely a human figure. Sir Penguin goes on to say all doors were locked, all windows were safeguarded, and that no other security cameras around the house caught any movement. So if this is a person, how did he get in? And if not, how will this redditor get him out? Many in the comments are just as perplexed as Sir Penguin, but redditor 2 low 40 sums it up best, writing, Ghost or Home Invader? The thought of whatever this is walking through your home is absolutely terrifying. Don't leave your fun up to an app. It might take you on a journey to your demise. Published to TikTok by Stephen Donovan, he explains that he was using the Randonautica app to direct him on a random adventure. For those who are unfamiliar with Randonautica, the app delivers a set of local coordinates supplied by a quantum random number generator. In doing so, users are encouraged to explore the unexpected. Steven's coordinates certainly delivered. Here's what happened. Randonautica sent these two on a dirt road through an abandoned ghost town. Creepy mannequins are standing in the windows of the empty wooden buildings. The mountain roads take them past empty cars parked on the shoulder. However, no one appears to be in the area. They pass a sign that reads private property, but they ignore it and continue up the steep, narrow road. It's getting dark and they are now on foot. The pin is pulled up and they are getting close to their destination. That's when they see it. But we had the pin pulled up. We were so close to it. Dude, and this what happened. The how to explain this. Something rolls down the hill from a broken structure, and in that structure they see what looks like a melted face. They take this as their cue to leave. TikToker Rachel Chun surmises, Watch those cars be the ones left behind by the random knots that never left. Steven notes that he deleted the app after this misadventure. After this, can you blame him? These men tried all means to rid their friend of a demonic possession. Published by Cacadores das Sombras, which translates to Shadow Hunters in April of 2021, the crew sets out on a mission to complete a satanic ritual. As the guys are driving down a dirt road in a rural area, they pass a guy walking on the side of the road. It turns out that it's their friend Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Oh, Lucas. They slow to a stop shortly after and the driver has his door open. Bad idea. Lucas lunges into the car at him and attempts to grab him. He seems possessed. They tie him up and throw him into their back seat. When they arrive at their destination, they find a pentagram with candles lit at all the points. They place the man into the middle of the pentagram and it seems he can't escape it. He is whipping around out of control but still lucid at times. They light one last candle on one of the pentagram's points. Lucas is later kneeling, growling and bent forehead to the floor at the center of the pentagram. Hey, hola, hola. He appears in a fit of some sort. After a while, the man holding the camera loses his patience with the possessed man. It doesn't meet its mark. One of the crew calms the cameraman outside, and a ruckus is heard inside shortly after. They return to find Lucas lying sideways on the ground, still at the center of the pentagram. What happened to him? Did the ritual work? Although he continued to remain still and silent at the end of the video, I hope he is free from his possession. I first heard about 30 East Drive in Pantafrac through YouTuber Shadow Man. It's said to be haunted by a somewhat evil entity named Fred or the Black Monk. Many have explored the haunted location in the UK, and here's some of the best captures in this home. The first short one comes from YouTuber Thomas Matthew, who captured a door closing. That's it, that's it. Push the door, yeah. Well done. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Keep going, keep going, keep going, Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This next video is even creepier. JDH Spooks Paranormal captured a mysterious hand. It's not your left hand. It's not your left hand. It's not your left hand. 
This video from Christopher Chell shows a paranormal device rolling off of a chair. Yeah. Hey, so we've got a cat ball on the chair. No one's in the room. You suddenly get your light up. We're all off. We've been sat on that chair for a good while, but nothing should affect it. Purple Bee Paranormal recorded this video where the broken radio suddenly revives itself. With the radio. It's the radio, come here. Don't mind. Give me the radio, don't work. He's bloody singing to himself. But this last clip tops them all. Lee Brady shares this footage that was filmed by the property's cleaner, Dara B. I have just seen something. I have just seen something. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take no more. I am off frigging down. This piece of evidence really hit it home for me. I'm entirely convinced that 30 East Drive is 100% haunted. And if this is the ghost known as Fred, I don't want to know. I think it's time to get the heck out of there. Can two separate security cameras glitch at once? Or is this The Matrix Revisited? Posted to the very spooky video subreddit, a woman in Colombia appears to have vanished, and her vanishing act was captured from two angles. From one angle, she is walking down the sidewalk. She pauses for a moment, then walks a bit more before suddenly zapping from view. A second video captures her at an angle from the front. Again, she walks forward before disappearing into thin air at the corner of the sidewalk. Did she just tell teleport to another dimension? Some in the comments think this was just CCTV taking photos every few seconds, which were sped up for viewing. That way the girl could have disappeared in the so-called vanishing act. Others think this girl obviously has the gift of invisibility. What do you think is going on here? Let me know in the comments. These contractors are doing some roof work when a woman who none of them have ever seen before decides to randomly scale the ladder and walk around the roof like she owns the place. The workers eventually convince her to climb down the ladder after a minute of debate, but judging from how she comes down, it's obvious that she doesn't have much concern for her safety or anyone else's. Here she nearly pulls the ladder over on herself. She would have absolutely sent the ladder to the ground if she was even just a few rings lower. What is she doing? What is she doing? I don't know if she's under the influence of something or having a nervous breakdown, but I have trouble believing anyone in their right mind would try this next maneuver from any distance, let alone from so high up. Next, she hangs off the ladder like a trapeze artist and does one of the craziest dismounts I have ever seen. Watch how badly the ladder wobbles. It really does look like it's going to give out at any second. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with this lady? The video ends as soon as she's on the ground, so I'm not sure what happens next. Hopefully they got her the medical attention she needs and did not let her go down the street to do something even more reckless. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.